but in during the day people have to wake up very early people are not sleeping right now people are not working everything has stopped because now we want to see who is going to live in the kingdom now and people are using all means all mechanism to make sure they get power we want to make sure that we are winning and you cannot win when you are seated I love this young man called Omanyala ah, he traveled to USA and upon arriving he went to the field to compete and he became number three but he never gave up. They went back to, they went to, uh, to uh, United Kingdom, Britain. Uingereza. Amen? Amina. And there he did wonders. And then he won. He went and won. The third time he went and then he got a gold medal. How did he manage to get that one? He's working, he's always doing exercise. He knows there are stronger people in, in the world. People can run very fast. But he went down and sat down and calculated. How am I going to win these people? So he did a lot of exercise. He ate well. To make sure that he is, 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 is getting that gold medal. Uh, gold doesn't come in an easy way. You have to strive to get it. The kingdom of God is the same. If you want to get the kingdom of God, don't sit down and say, I'm just relaxing. You have to strive. Now, when you go back to the uh, scriptures, the Bible says that and from the days of John the Baptist, and from the days of John the Baptist. Now, before John the Baptist, if you are, you are, you are just an Israelite, you will just go to heaven. Because you belong to the, the family of Abraham. Your father is Abraham. So you just that up. Uh, Provided I'm a Jew, I'm going to make it. Because I was born as a Jew. I am going to heaven. I don't care. Provided I'm a Jew. But the days of John the Baptist. Things changed. Maybe you have been born in a Christian family. Ah, your father is a Christian. Your mother is a Christian. Listen. That doesn't make you qualify to go to heaven. Amen. Being born by a Christian parent doesn't qualify you to go to heaven. Going to church every day doesn't qualify you to make it to heaven. You have to dig your own well. So that you can know the cost of you have to make your life straight with God so that you can make it there and you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling because anytime you can lose your salvation you have to protect it every day look every every corner so that the enemy does doesn't take you captive. Don't say that because my father is a pastor. I'm going to heaven. No. 
happened now. You say that because I, I build a church, then I'm going to heaven. You have to dig your own well. Stop bringing in other people's wells. Amen. But if you want to make it to heaven, don't bring other people's wells. Dig your own well. Because you will be left behind. Work out your own salvation of the fear and trembling. These are songs that we used to sing uh, those days um, when we were young children. Like there's no way you're going to bribe to make it to heaven. Hakuna siku utatoa hongo ili uingie mbinguni. Hakuna kimagendo. Hakuna kujuana. Kwamba wewe ulikuwa fulani wa fulani. Wengine wanasema nilikuwa nikienda kanisani lakini baba anasema Ondoka sikujui wengine wanasema nilikuwa mtoto wa pasta lakini baba anasema ondoka sikujui hakuna hakuna kimagendo hakuna kujuana kwamba wewe ulikuwa Fulani wa fulani hakuna magendo ujuana kwamba wewe ulikuwa fulani wa fulani kama utasoma mpiga sikia leo yote kumbuka hiyo wimbo sawa sawa hakuna kimagendo There's no way. Being my friend doesn't matter. The most important thing is you yourself. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist up to now, the kingdom of God suffers violence. And you have to press through to make it. Amen? You have to press through Tell your neighbor, praise through. Amen? Tell your neighbor, praise through. Maybe you're not getting what I'm saying. Glenn uh, Robinson, you are the camera. Come here, come here, come here. 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 Brandon, Carlos, stand here, go outside. Let me use this one to explain what I mean. I mean amen. Anytime soon the door is going to be closed. Any time from now, the door will be closed. So the door is being held like this. They want to close the door. 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 They want to We 
ukijieta plan inafungwa amen that is what i'm saying it's trying to end up yeye ndiye anamaanisha anasema ngangana kuingia nana maana yake anasema sasa sasa mmeelewa because the door is about to be closed hivyo mlango karibu kufungwa jesus said that any time is coming yes akasema wakati wote anarejea it's closing the door anafunga mlango wewe ungali kule mbali amen amen what are you supposed to do unapaswa kufanya nini imagine you are very far there and you don't know how to open it gani very fast ndio because once the door is closed there is no way you are going to open it again amen once the door is closed kunde tu mlango ufungwe nobody is going to be allowed to go in again kuna yote atakayeruhusiwa kuingia tena that's why we been told strive to enter kwa sababu naambiwa ngangana uingie kama mtu kwa mlango mpaka ukicho umeuka ndani amen hata kama ni kwa anga anga kama uko anga anga wapi ndani bwana asifiwe amen because jesus is about to close the door kwa sababu yesu yu karibu kufunga mlango any time the trumpet is going to sound hata wote tarumbeta italia any time the trumpet is going to sound hata wote tarumbeta italia so still stop saying that because my uh, pastor is my friend hata nikaa hapa nje atanifungulia mlango tu hata no. kusema kwamba kwa sababu mchungaji rafiki yangu hata nikichelewa atanifungulia mlango watoto wasitoka toka nje amen When no was was telling them about building the ark. Nilikuwa tunazungumzia juzi kuhusu kujenga safina. No keep on uh, kept on telling people to come and help them to build the ark. Kila mara no waliita watu wamsaidie kujenga safina. But they refused. Lakini walikataa. They just knew that God will forgive us. Na walijua tu Mungu atatusamea. But now when the door was closed. Lakini wakati mlango ulifungwa. They couldn't open it again. Hawakufungua tena. They tried. Walijaribu. But they couldn't open. Lakini hawangeweza fungua. Because when the door is closed, kwa sababu wakati mlango unafungwa, it's God who closes the doors and he goes with the keys. Ni Mungu anafunga huo mlango na anaenda na fungua. So what are you supposed to do? Kwa hivyo unapaswa kufanya nini? You have to press. Lazima usukume. You have to press. Sukume kabisa. So that you get in. Ili uingeze kuingia. Don't think that it's only just about kanga pala kimanga. No, you have to Usifikirie kwamba Kristo alikuja tu hapa ukiimba pana ni kusukuma. In the book of Matthew chapter 7. Matthew 7. Oh let's see. Then Matthew 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 that's the very very. Let's look at Luke. Luke chapter 13. Acha tuangalie Luke 10 Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. Na kwa kitu naongea ujiuliza wewe wewe uko na unatumia nguvu ama unakaa hapo pale na hapo hapo utaenda mna hivi no you have to use force look to the 13 verse 24 Luka 13:24 Somo tutsiki Jitahidini kuingia katika mlango ulio mwembamba kwa maana nawaambia nawaambia ya kwamba wengi watataka kuingia wasiweze Amen. Amen. Strive to enter through the narrow gate. Jitahidini kuingia katika mlango ulio mwembamba. Strive the, the, the is one. Si kama huu. The door is one Mwen. and it is narrow. Mlango ni mmoja tu lakini ni mwembamba. And time is expiring outside. Na muda huko unaisha kule nje. And you are told that for you to be safe you must be inside. Kwa wewe kuwa salama lazima uenda. When the time reaches. Na wakati muda unaadi. This door is shut. Mlango unafunga. Those that will, be, will remain outside are going to face it come. Wale ambao watasalia kule nje watafunga. And no one knows when this door is going to be to be shut. Jua na wakati mlango huu utafunga. So the Jesus is encouraging us today. Kwa hivyo Yesu anatuambia leo. Strive to enter. Jitahidi uingie. The narrow gate. Ile mlango mwembamba. Amen. Amen. Yeye nakana tunasema kama hasa wala kama wakati mko na siasa wanapeana pesa. Sema tu wale ambao wataingia ndani ndio watapewa pesa, si ndio? Acha tu mimi pesa pia. Maana maana mliko pekee hizi pesa, hizi hizi vitu sana. Sema tu wale ambao wataingia hapa ndani peke yao, hao ndio watakuruhusiwa kupata pesa. Ndio kutokana na pesa ya watu 500 peke yake. Si ndio? Watu mko elfu moja kule nje. Hebu tuseme sasa wao wataingia ndani watapata. Nasema mlango ndio fungwa tujui. Alafu mlango ni mmoja. 
Hizi kazi fungo mlango ni mmoja kuingia. Wapo wote ndio na gani? Unabidi ndio kanyake mtu, si ndio? Hado bado kwenda kwa video bado si ndio? Boko fanya mna gani? Waanguke ndani. Si ni kweli? Because ikifungiwa haja haupati kitu. And there's something good inside here. Kuna kitu cha dhamana hapo ndani. So Jesus said that narrow is the way that leads to life. Yesu akasema njia ile yenye mbamba ndio njia iendekezayo kwenye uzima. Wewe ukisema hivi that I'm going if you say that I'm going to use my own door you're not going to access. Ukisema kwamba mimi nitatumia mlango wangu basi wewe hautaki. Because we have been given the law. Ni kwa sababu tumepewa sheria. If you want to get in. Nitaka kuingia ndani. We only have one door. Tuko tuna mlango mmoja. And this door is very narrow. Na huu mlango ni mwembamba. Even this one is big. Now, how, how, how are you living your life? No, you can be sitting outside and wondering, ah, mimi najua to hata ikona gani. Who knows? When the trumpet is going to sound. Wakati tarumbeta italia. Wale ndio baki nje ndio tajua, hawajui. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Because God right now is the business of recruiting people kwa sababu Mungu sasa hivi yako katika biashara kusajili watu. And is telling people strive to enter in. Anambia watu jitahidi uingie. Strive to enter in. Jitahidi uingie. And you are walking slowly. Na unatembea polepole. Any time. Wakati wowote. That door will be closed. Mlango utafungwa. You will not do you not by angels again. Hautakuwa hapo tena. You will not by angels. Wewe hautahonga malaika. Amen. Amen. Na there there was a woman in the Bible kulikuwa na mwanamke kwenye Biblia. In the book of Luke chapter 8 verse 43. Katika kitabu cha Luka 8:43. This woman had a problem. Huyo mwanamke alikuwa na shida. Flow of blood. Alikuwa anatukwa na damu. Iko ndako wapi? Hmm? Ipo tazama kwa mapua. Iko 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 ndani mama mapua, amen. Bwana asifiwe. Ah, uh, maybe ladies are don't know that flow of blood, sio? Mm. Si maana gani ni mpaka you go your periods. This is your period. You go your periods. And uh, so you have the continuous flow of blood for pillo years. You buy those people na tanga mwanga ndio vitu sana tarita sio? You buy them but then nothing is happening. The blood is flowing throughout for pill of years. Meta mejaribu kutumia hizo hizo sodu lakini bado wewe unatokwa damu kwa miaka 12. So it was very shameful for this woman. Ni hali ya kufedhehesha. But one day she heard that Jesus was passing. Lakini siku moja akasikia kwamba Yesu yuo pita. Jesus is passing. Yesu yuo pita. And there were so many obstacles to reach Jesus. Everybody was close to Jesus. This woman was sick. But she can't even she can't make it where Jesus Jesus is. The Bible says. She had to press through the crowd. She's sick but she's pushing. Ni mgonjwa lakini anasukuma. Andiri shikije sio Jesus is. Hadi alipofika mahali Yesu alikuwa. If only I touch the hem of his garment. Kusudia tu moyoni wako ikiwa nitaguza tu pinde la nguo yake. There was a specific place that she was targeting to touch. Kulikuwa na mahasehemu maalumu yeye alikuwa amelenga. Not just touching anywhere. Si kuguza tu mahali popote. But the hem at the corner there. Lakini pinde tu la nguo ya Yesu. There was something that were hanging there. Kulikuwa na vitu ambavyo zilikuwa zinaninginia pale. We call them tassels. We call them tassels. So, so they are called tassels. Amen. Amen. What do you mean? 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 So when Jesus used to go to pray, kila mara Yesu alikuwa anaenda kuomba, 
And even the Jews would have to do that. They could cover their heads and touch those tassels when they are praying so that they, they, can, they can focus to God. So they, they touch them when they are praying. So when they, this woman said, when, when, when they touch that uh, the hem of this garment. She was looking at those tassels to go and touch. And getting those tassels is not easy. I have to push through. I have to push this man. I have to penetrate to which way Jesus is. For me to receive my healing. And she's purpose in her heart. That once I touch that hem, I am going to be made whole. And she began. One step at a time. Pushing through the crowd. People are pushing Jesus. But she's only, she's only she's just in. And finally she touched. And Jesus began asking. When I was walking, somebody touched me. Amen. Amen. There's a song that says, somebody touched me. Who has touched me? And all the disciples say, ah, no, 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 no. We have so many here. We have so many. But this lady touched a part of the cloth that, that garment. And Jesus felt some strength leaving him. Na Yesu alihisi kwamba kuna nguvu zimemtoka. Amen. Amen. For this lady to get the healing that she needed. Kwa huyu binti kupokea uponyaji aliyetaji. She had to strive. Ni bidi ajitahidi. Amen. Amen. She had to overcome the obstacles in her life. Ni bidi ashinde majaribio mavizuizi za maisha yake. There was a man, a very short man in the Bible. Alikuwa na mtu mfupi sana biblia. The book of Luke chapter 19. This man was called Zacchaeus. Amen. Amen. His main obstacle. His height. Amen. Amen. So because he was short. There was no way he was going to see Jesus. And there were so many people around Jesus. So this guy is trying to jump up. He tried to jump up. He tried to jump up. But he couldn't see Jesus. So he said in his heart. For me to see Jesus. Let me climb the tree. Amen. Amen. Let me strive. Let me try. I'm very sure, but I'm going to work very hard to climb the tree so that I can see Jesus. So he climbed the tree. Come on, come on. But this guy really struggled. He had one purpose in his heart. I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. So he kept on. And he climbed a very big tree. 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 He climbed a very big a tree that some of you can climb on top. But this short man worked very hard. He really strived to see Jesus. And when he was on the tree now, he was able to see Jesus. And Jesus saw him. He recognized him. He said, Zacchaeus, come down from the tree now. When you begin to strive, you will touch the heart of God and God will speak something in your life. Amen? God will come in and bring 
a change in your life. But if you say, ah, well, there are so many people, there's no need to be going there, you will remain there and die. You have to press. Today I'm just using a simple word, press. Amen? Amen. So, let's talk about it. No, you have to work hard for your salvation. And Jesus will command. He says, I have seen your struggling. I have seen how you have really pursued me. Amen. 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 How ni? Hashi. Did God spoke something? Hadi Mungu akanena. I love the story of this man. This young girl was called Ruth. Na pen hekaya za Ruth. So you know she's among the heroes of faith. Yeye ni miongoni mwa baadhi wa ile shujaa wa imani. She was not an Israelite. Yeye hakuwa Mwisraeli. But she was a Moabite. Lakini alikuwa Moabi. And she had um is it a in no man we modify it down like what we get like that modify hmm hmm koi alikuwa alikuwa mbia mka ndio kesi ndio mko mwenza yeah alikuwa anaitwa orpa so uh naomi has passed that you mean yeah what to ulipia toka ulipia kama gani kufa so she naomi is a widow ruth is a widow Orpa is a widow. So now, now I'm saying now it's time for me to go back to my country. So uh, Ruth, Orpa, you go uh, find another place. Uh, go back to your people. Maybe you can find uh, another husband there. You get married. You're going to use the life. Orpa said, okay, there's no way we can do now because you know, we're a widow, you don't have another child, there's no hope in you. Let me go back to my people. But Ruth said, I will follow you. You are God with my God. I don't know the pain you are going to face today, but I'm going with you. Whether we are, we are accepted or not, I am going to follow you. And your God shall be my God. Your people shall be my people. Amen? And now here we have a book in the Bible called the Book of Roots. And from Roots we get people like uh, David. Na kutoka kwa Ruth tunapata watu kama Daudi. We get people like uh, Solomon. Tunapata watu kama Suleiman. That was not easy. Haikuwa rahisi. She said I am going to follow you. Alisema mimi nitakufuata. Even, even though my husband is dead. Hata kama mume wangu ameaga. But I am going to follow you. Lakini mimi nitakufuata. She purpose in her heart. Alikusudia moyo wake. I'm not going back to the Moabite people. Sitarejea kwa wa Moabi tena. I'm going to follow my people. I'm going to follow you. Nitakufuata. And you know where the Moabites came from? Na nifahamu wale wa Moabi walitoka. You do know where the Moabites came from? Je, mnafahamu ni watu wa Moabi walitoka? Who knows where these people came from? Nani anafahamu? The Moabites and the Ammonites. Moabi na Ammoni. Go and read the story of Lot. Enda usome historia ya Lot. When he when uh, he was drunk, what did he do? Wakati alikuwa amelewa alifanya nini? Amen. Amina. He had two daughters. Alikuwa na binti wawili. So they made their father drunk. Wali walisababisha baba yao akalewa. They were slept with their father. And one, 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 one to give birth to Ammon, another to give birth to Moab. So the children of Israel were told not to marry any Moabite. But I think that's one of the reasons why this, this, this young man died. But now she, she knows that she's a Moabite. But she says I'm not going to stay with the Moabites again. I am following Naomi. Wherever she goes, I will go. Amen. And when she reaches the, the book of Ruth, you can enjoy the story. 
How things went about and she got married to Boaz. And the story says that uh, the, that same uh, when she when she got married to Boaz and then she conceived uh, what happened that Boaz died again. Because you are not allowed to marry Moabites. That's a good the, the twist to it. And nothing is hard about Boaz again. But now Boaz begot Obed. And Obed begot Jesse. And Jesse begot David. Hallelujah. This is the story. But it's because there's one woman who says that I am going to follow Naomi. Whether I understand or I don't understand, I am following Naomi. Hallelujah. We will have to strive. Amen. For you to be called a hero, you have to strive. You just said that um, we'll be able when you said, No, the kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violence takes it by force. When we read in the book of Luke, chapter 5, and verse 17, there was this man who was, who was paralyzed. And he was lying on the bed. And there was nobody to carry him. But his people uh, had a Jesus somewhere. So they said, This is our problem. We have tried all that doctors, but this man is not getting here. We are going to carry him and take him to where Jesus is. So they took that man and went with him. But unfortunately, Jesus was in the house. And there was no way they were going to get to Jesus now. So they began calculating. We used to say uh, in the past that you must calculate, calculate, calculate. Isn't it? Amen? Amen? You must. You must calculate, calculate, and calculate. Amen? Amen. Whatever you are in your life, every day you must calculate. Because I'm saying about the the answer that you give that's your according to you. Yeah. So as someone when we you must calculate how am I going to survive here? Lazima upige hesabu ni jinsi gani mimi nitaweza kuishi hapa. Christians are not people who are just there seated like this. Ndio tu watu wameketi tu hivyo. These are people who are always calculating. Na tu kila mara wanapiga hesabu. How am I going to make it? Mimi nitafaulu aje. I'm going to press even though there's a lot of obstacles here but I am supposed to pass through so you keep on calculating every day you try this way you try this way but finally you will find yourself at the end hallelujah so these guys were calculating they went around the house there was no way they could go get in. So they sat down and begin thinking. We have a problem here. And the solution to our problem is inside this house. What are we going to do? And someone suggested, let's go and move the roof. Huh? And they said, that's a good idea. And they climbed on top of the house. And they moved the roof. I don't know what kind of roof it was. 
Because they were normal birds those days. But they said they removed the roof. And they brought this paralytic man. And they brought him, they, they dropped him to where Jesus was. That he found Jesus was. And when Jesus was looking at their faith, he said, Son of man, rise up, your sins have been forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So in Christianity, for us to get anything that God has for us, we have to strive. The Bible says that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. It doesn't reward anybody. It doesn't reward anybody. But those who diligently seek Him, these are the people that God is going to reward. Praise the name of the living God. And you haven't reached where you're supposed to be. You have to keep striving. And when you have to keep striving. When you go to see how you are striving, He will reward you. He doesn't give His blessings to lazy people. Run as if you were. He doesn't make, make, make His blessings to lazy people. To lazy people. Sometimes they don't want to call them slothful people. Slothful, what was said of evil? Or sluggard people? No. A slothful person is a person who goes very slow. It's an animal that's called sloth. It's an animal called sloth. I don't know how it's called in Israel, but sloth. Not, not, not a snake, but a sloth. You can marry a Munyama, you. This uh, animal called sloths. There was a, a, a man who was trying to illustrate how animals run fast. Like a horse goes back. Like a kangaroo. It goes. But when it comes to a sloth, slowly, very slow. When the So some people normally come in just to help. When I pick, when I pick, I do better. Ah, enda. Ah, it's okay. Ah. But the category of the money, 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 so we have been told not to be thoughtful. Amen. Amen. Christians are the people who are sharp. Because we don't want what about Pentecost? You want to go to the Why are you spending? I mean, I'm a figure See, you go to the Maybe you need to No, no, no. You get a figure of the body. You want to come on the camera. You come on So, in the Christian, that's why we are being told the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence takes it by force. So from today, don't be lazy. Lazy people will not eat anything. 
So the Paul says that anyone who doesn't work must not eat. So laziness is not a Christian character. We have to work very hard. God has so many things that He wants to give us. But only the diligent. Those people that are striving. Now, Jesus Himself is telling us we have to strive. The only thing that Jesus will just come to you and then I'll put you on. No! You have to work out the old version by striving because there are so many obstacles that are hindering you. Some of the hopes you have to cut them. Some of the things you have to cut them. Imagine it. Yes, you can play Missouri. You can play the Ngombe. Yes, you can play the Ngombe. Yes, you can play the Ngombe. Yes, you Mbona baleta mbepe kasameka pale? Hmm? Rafa na gani? Hmm. Wow. Ee, tu. Mwaka rado kutu, hadi hadi wangu ndio bado ufikie nini? Yes. Mnapata ngombe zingine mpaka damu inatoka mguu sivyo? Eh, wengine wanabidi kutoka damu, mpaka baada ya baada ya muda mrefu wake. Amen. Because God is as as put something there good for you. So you are just looking and you are supposed to reach there. Some of you, it will cost you your life. Because not everybody is seeing things that we are seeing. You are seeing food there. And somebody is blocking you from eating that food. Come on, nimba, nimba. Because the, uh, the kingdom of God suffers violence. Na bidina, wato nye nguvu na nachukonga vitu, ya mene? Kufanma mungu unapatika na kongovu. But you just say, look, nijio kwa hiku, wanasema sisi, utakufa na masikini, utakumadisa. Wana sifiwe. Amen. Some of these ropes, we have to cut them by faith. Baadhi ya kamba zingine, ya bidi tukate kwa imani. We used to be in a church. We used to be in a church. And when the missionaries from the USA they come to church, we are told don't go greet them. Only the pastor and the deacons will greet them. Because we are so many. So just to respect us, you will just be there clapping your hands. Say, welcome, welcome, your coming is a blessing. Welcome. And this one as they go to greet you. So we are clapping hands and they are going greeting. So, why not to cut a kamba? Why not to cut a kamba? Kamba ni mbae ni mbae? Mbae. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Why not to feel? Amen. Do you want to say that? Do you want to say that? Sometimes we, we fear doing this because of what people say. You do it and see if they speak. They say, they say nothing. They are threatening you. Oh, we will talk. We will talk. We will talk. Okay, we will talk. Amen? Amen. So, he says it's not about just being soft. Why not say fair, Sarah? I come on the way, man. No! We are striving. Sisi, we go in by force and we are going to take you by force. 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 We Take it by force. 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 
Iko shere zingine ambazo inabidi tuvunje kitu kule. Si ndio? Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Unaipata vizuri. Iko shere zingine lazima uvunje ile kule kitu. Tukisema ni shere yetu nasema anga wewe kana leo nyama kule sema unajua kwa hiyo nasema usipeleke nyama. Eh, nyama leta hapa. Hacha na kula si ndio? Na imagine you are traveling ni nada kama sasa una una umeleta umeleta chuga imekausha vizuri imekarangwa na mbona sasa unaanza kwenda katika langa chuga na mbona unaona wewe unakula imekarangwa imekausha vizuri sema why not what in ile kiacho na sio kibaya bali tunataka chini ndio kibaya kibaya kwanza weka meno bwana asifiwe kwa maana hata vile wana ulaya kumbe kumbe huku watu wanakushangaa sana si ndio Mwana kufa kweli. So huu okay, kama walipata watu wao mbona wamechukua wametoa kichwa nyoka wametoa mkia wametengeneza mzozo kama samaki. Na wana kula na wana wakufi. Why not? Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini kama tunajua kwetu watu kulangi, some of these laws that we are following we have to break those laws for us to survive. Baadhi ya amu zingine tunafuata lazima tuvunje ili sisi tu. And if you continue to stick to those laws you there. Those four lepers say that if we continue staying here, we are going to die. And even when we go there, we still are still going to die. So let us go and die there. Amen. Amen. Na walikufa kweli. Ndio walipata zaidi, si ndio? So some of you you fear that oh when I when I do this, oh people are going to say this and this. No, no, we will go and do it. Doesn't matter what they to ask you. They hate you. But finally, they follow you. Amen. Amen. They know that you are doing what was it. So the kingdom of God is about striving. We are taking the kingdom by force. We are not listening to what people are going to say. We are not listening to what people are saying. People will discourage you. They will try to hinder you from going there. Oh, when you go there, they will say, this is what will happen to you. Oh, this and this will happen to you. Tell me this one. I know. They will say, but keep quiet. I'm going. Amen? And that's the reason why we, most of the people here in our, in our area people are remaining behind because they are hanging on on their traditions. We are Christians but we are still holding fast traditions. Take those courses and throw them away and say, I'm going to see Jesus. Nipuwa mwazi kata ni uwe nyugo, you do this, you will die. Say that I'm not going to die. Amen. When they say you will die, tell them, I am not going to die, but I am going to live and you will die. Because your childhood you have been following these traditions. And you are getting nothing from them. Na umeshikilia. Kabisa. Cut them. Cut those traditions. Send you to me kanazi mtashika siku nyingi na nifunga na potea mamengi hapa. I am going. Achana nazo maana zimekushika muda mrefu useme mimi nimetoka. Bwana asifiwe. That's why Jesus said, come out from among them and be separated. Come out from among them and be ye separated. Because if you stay there, you're not going to receive the blessing of God. God is looking for men and women of faith that are ready to get out and move and begin walking on water. And there's no way you are going to see. There's no way you are going to see. You take a step of faith and begin walking on water. 
Not sitting on the board because the board is on water. No, God doesn't want us to sit on the board, but He wants us to get off the board and begin walking on water. If you want to when when you break world record, amen? You get out of the boat and begin walking on top of water. That's why people begin to wonder, hey, nana tebaya juya maji uya mokwa. Sidiyo? Peter is the only man in the world who broke the world record of walking on water. Peter is the only man in the world who broke the world record of walking on water. Peter is the only man in the world who broke the world record of walking on water. Because Jesus told him, come, and he said, if it's true, tell me to come. And Jesus came, he came out of the water and he began walking. It's just like the way uh, uh, God told the Israel that when you went to go to the uh, river Jordan, the first people to step on water are supposed to be the priests. Mm-hmm. River Jordan. So these guys were carrying the, the covenant, uh, the ark of the covenant. And now there's water here. The river Jordan. And you told just go and cross that river. So they went because God told them to go. And they stepped on water. And the water disappeared. Just walk in. Sometimes we fear because of, because we are walking by sight. You see, when you begin reasoning, you won't make it. No, you go and do it. If God has told you go and do, go and do what God has told you to do. Praise God. Amen. That's all about being a Christian. It's not just about singing songs. You come here so that we can equip you to do the work of the ministry. And you need to walk by faith. To break the world record. Which record are you going to break? From your home up to this place, up to up to up to up to up to up to which record are you going to break? You want, we need to become a record breaker. Banners if you You trust in God. And if you will be a person and a woman who always encourages himself. 